Shout hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet, please, as we close our eyes and raise up our two hands to the heavens. I was lost, but Jesus found me. Hallelujah. Found the sheep that went straight. But his love him, but his love will live. I'm around. Put me back, put me back into Sing it loud and cry, hallelujah. of righteousness but by his grace alone it's not by works of righteousness but by his grace alone it's not by works of righteousness but by his grace alone oh i am complete in oh it's complete hallelujah Hallelujah. Send that fire. The Holy Ghost fire. Send that fire again. The Holy Ghost. Sing it loud and glass. Send the fire. And the fire. Send the fire, send the fire again. The Holy Ghost, oh, send the fire. The Holy Ghost, send the fire, not fire again. The oh, God, 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 the fullness of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. Oh, I am complete in it. Oh, it's complete. Oh. Hallelujah. Complete, complete, complete. In it. Hallelujah. I am complete. Amen.
Amen. Amen. All eyes closed. Listen very, very carefully. There are some prayers we want to pray now. Ten of them. We have five minutes to pray them. Meaning you can't afford not to concentrate. These are prayers targeted by the Holy Ghost to do us good. Make sure that nobody's voice is louder than yours. Make sure you pray like a prophet that means business. Pray not caring what is happening by your side. And most importantly, pray with violent faith in your heart. Believe in the Lord that this very week, there shall be a manifestation of those prayers you just prayed. Miracles that surpasses explanation. Manifest in my life. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. The one that surpasses explanation. Manifest in my life. In Jesus name we pray. Number two. Say, oh God, arise. And let my situation change. In the name of Jesus, let there be a change. That's right. Masepokoterayaboshenerabosan. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, bitter water. Hear the word of the Lord. I cut you off from my life. In the name of Jesus. Cut it off. Cut off the bitter waters. In Jesus' name name we pray so every evil teeth biting my virtues can you shout this loud and clear scatter in the name of Jesus yes Jesus name we pray so oh God arise and advertise your breakthrough in my life in the name of Jesus let me be an advertisement of your breakthrough power in the name of Jesus aha in Jesus name we pray say my father burst forth in my life in signs and wonders in the name of Jesus ask your father to burst forth Aha, aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. And beloved, pray this one with violent anger. Wicked spirits within my family. You shall have no peace. Can you decree this loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, decree against the wicked spirits. Aha. Something is happening here this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, mountain of darkness. Get out of my situation. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the mountain of darkness. In 
Jesus name we pray say any pot of darkness calling my name for destruction scatter in the name of Jesus scatter the pot of darkness Scatter them. In Jesus' name we pray. You will issue this holy cry. Oh, Red Sea of Blockage. Divide in the name of Jesus. Divide the right side of blockage. Divide in the name of Jesus. Divide the Red Sea of darkness. In Jesus' name we pray. Every evil hand laid upon my glory. Wither. Can you say that with only anger? Make it louder than that, beloved. Say it again loud and clear. In the name of Jesus, command the evil hand to wither. So pola kaya bo shende rabo kontera. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name, we pray. Finally, you pray this one. Any power. That wants me to die unfulfilled. Can I hear the sister saying this loud and clear? Is that the loudest the sisters can say? Brothers, shout it with only anger. Everybody together now. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Poria katoni katene yaba. Mana sepende ke yabo In Jesus name we pray. Let me congratulate all of you who pray those prayers from your heart. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you for this morning. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, we are gathered before you here this morning, waiting and expecting to be blessed. Let your hand of blessing and breakthrough come upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Minister to everyone gathered here this morning. Let there be no one here this morning who will go home empty-handed. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Let's take our Bibles as we battle against one particular power here this morning. Overcoming profitless hard labor. Overcoming profitless hard labor. You would do well to listen to this short message very well. Let us see the first attack of this spirit on a man in the book of Genesis. Because profitless hard labor is a spirit. Nobody likes it, but people are victims of it. Let's see how it attacked the life of one man in the Bible. Genesis chapter 31 from 36. Genesis chapter 31 from 36. And Jacob was rough. 
and showed with Laban. And Jacob answered and said to Laban, What is my trespass? What is my sin? That thou hast hotly pursued after me. Whereas thou hast searched all my stuff, what hast thou found of all thy household stuff? Set it up before my brethren and my brethren, that they may judge between us. These twenty years have I been with thee. Thy goats have not cast their youngs, and the rams of thy flocks have I not eaten. That which was turned of beasts I brought not unto thee. I bear the loss of it. My hand this thou require it. Any animal that die, Jacob will have to refund it. Whether stolen by day or stolen by night, thus was I in the day the drought consumed me, and the frost by night, and my sleep departed from my eyes. Thus have I been twenty years in thy house. I served thee fourteen years for thy two daughters, and six years for thy cattle, and thou hast changed my wages ten times. His salary was reduced ten times. Jacob was a victim of profitless hard labor. When we say labor, what do we mean? We're talking about your work. We're talking about your endeavors. We're talking about all the efforts you are making to make money. We're talking about the physical work you are doing for your wages. We're talking about your efforts to create wealth. We're talking about your employment, about your job. If you are selling, we're talking about your sales. If you are in business, we're talking about that business you're running. We're generally talking about the works of your hand. In Luke chapter 5, verse 1, Luke chapter 5, verse 1, and it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. That is, they are finished for the night. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon. I pray that the Lord will enter your boat this morning in the name of Jesus. And prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said to Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draught. And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, at least I don't believe what you are saying, but well, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. Notice that they were engaged in labor all night and they caught nothing. In John chapter 21, John chapter 21, from verse 1 again, John chapter 21, from verse 1. And after these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. And on this wise, showed him himself. There were together Simon, Peter, and Thomas called the Dimos, and Nathanael of Cana in Galilee, and the sons of Zebedee, and two other of his disciples. Simon Peter said unto them, I go a fishing. They said unto him, We we'll also go with thee. They went forth and entered into a ship immediately. And that night, just like the foreman, former time, they caught nothing. But when the money was now come, Jesus stood on the shore, not in, not in the boat this time, but the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. Then Jesus said unto them, Children, have ye any meat? They answered him, No. And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and you shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. In these two passages, several things are clear. There was failure where it should not have been. These men were skilled and experienced fishermen. They knew their trade. They were fishing in familiar waters. They were using the right equipment. They had been working at the right time to catch fish. They worked hard all night. They had had success in the past. But now, they are now experiencing failure without explanation. They did not decide to stop being fishermen. They still wanted to continue another time, so they were washing their nets for next time. They were fishing in the river, but they caught nothing. 
So the words of Jesus to them, throw your net, throw your net, must have sounded very strange. Because he was asking them to do what they had been doing all night and they caught nothing. They already fished in the waters and caught nothing. They had been there all night, tired and exhausted. And generally you catch the better fish at night, not in the day. And they must have looked at them, this Jesus and said, what does this man know about fishing? But then he cured their profitless hard work. Our purpose here this morning is to pray against this spirit. Beloved, most Nigerians are not lazy. Ah, they're not. If you want to confirm what I'm saying, you travel abroad. You see some Nigerians, they'll go to school in the morning from 9 to maybe 1. 3 o'clock, you go and start working somewhere. You could wash toilet somewhere from 3 to 6. He rushes back to another school. When from midnight, it starts to become security guard somewhere else. Some do three jobs a day and they are still going to school. So, Nigerians are not lazy people. Christians too are not lazy people. Because if you are very lazy, you cannot be a good Christian. But there is a spirit that will make somebody work hard all the time, but you don't gather much. That's the thing we want to stand against here this morning. There is a spirit that makes people to work so hard, but there is nothing to show for all the long years of work you had worked. There is a spirit that comes upon somebody when they say, well, you have two years, three years to retire. Your heart makes beam because you haven't gathered anything. There is a spirit that never rewards somebody commensurately for their labors. It is this spirit called profitless hard labor. It makes people walk like elephants and eat like rats, rats and ants. It makes people to have constant failure in examination or constant failure in what should move their life forward. It makes it to happen that the person has nothing to show for her, all the hard work in public life or whether you are self-employed. It's a tragedy when you see the newspaper and you find this person is the first Nigerian uh, to play this kind of football. This is the first Nigerian to win this award. The first Nigerian to fight this kind of war. First Nigerian to do this. And now they are at old age, they are dying of poverty. It is this spirit. And it is a clever spirit. Because it will keep you doing the work. Although you know nothing is coming. It will keep you doing the work by some clever strategy. It's a very rampant spiritual disease. The spirit of fruitless labor. The spirit that makes one to fish and catch nothing in the ocean of life. The spirit that makes one fight as if the person is beating the air. The spirit that makes one run with uncertainty. The spirit of slippery breakthrough. Slippery breakthrough. I want you to position yourself for serious pressure this morning. There is no point in sitting and saying, well... I had been a secretary since 1948. I started when there was no typewriter. And I did typewriter. I did short time. Now I did computer. What do you have to show for this? I was one of the people to open supermarket in Nigeria. But now you don't even have an ordinary market. Let alone super. What has gone wrong? I was the first person to, to, to start this fashion design place. And now what have you got to show for this? A lot of people have spiritual holes in their hands that they can't see. Licking off all their blessings. Many are fishing day by day in the ocean of life and they are catching nothing. You need to hear the voice of Jesus here this morning. Say, son, daughter, put your net on the right hand side. Until you know where to put your net in the ocean of life. All your labor here will be completely profitless. These are things we need to understand very well. A lot of people are what you call dream millionaires. All the miracles and the dream, all the miracles and the breakthroughs that are happening in the dream, but this spirit will not allow you to transform into the physical. This is a very serious thing. This spirit has plenty of strategies. The first strategy of this spirit is to empty what one is doing using the spirit of the emptiers. The person will walk, gather something positive away, everything is gone. I shared this with you many years back. A man of 75 years old took his wife, a 70 year old woman to court. He was seeking for divorce. And the judge looked at them. He said, how long have you been married? They said, 45 years. Ah, the judge said, but if you've been married for 45 years, what do you want to dissolve it now? The old man said, dissolve it. 
But the old woman at 70 was crying in the courtroom because she saw everything she has worked for being taken away by a girl of 20. Their last daughter was is older than that girl. And yet this old man of 75 said, this is the new wife. I'm going to marry this 20-year-old lady. I don't want this woman again. This is the marriage. Everything she's worked for, for 45 years, gone. It has been emptied by the emptiers. Can you raise up your right hand to the heavens and declare this with violent anger? Emptiers of my father's house! You are a liar! Damn! In the name of Jesus! In Jesus' name we pray. Please, do you understand this first strategy? The spirit of profitless hard labor uses the spirit of the empty ass to empty what people had gathered. When a 60-year-old man is now sitting for GCO level exam, that is a problem. It becomes like the Yoruba proverbs that when a man spends 20 years preparing for madness, why will he run into the street? Nothing to show for existence. The second strategy of this spirit, wrong labor. It will keep people doing the wrong things. Like Peter here. In that Luke chapter 5 that we read, Jesus told Peter, I will make you fishers of men. Peter you are presently fishing for fish. But I will make you a fisher of men. So by destiny, Peter was supposed to be a fisher of men. He had a sense of destiny in his brain. Something tells him that he has to catch something. That's why he ended up with fishing. He didn't know he was to catch a higher fish. Peter abandoned fishing and followed Jesus. When Jesus died, Peter went back to the fishing from which he was delivered when he became a disciple. Just like the last time, he fished again and caught nothing. Because when a fisher of men begin to fish for fish, he will catch nothing. There can be no prosperity for the monkey who decides to start swimming in the water and competing with fishes. I pray that by the powers that establishes heavens and earth, that if you are here this morning, and you are in the wrong job that will not bring you prosperity. The Lord will reschedule you in the name of Jesus. You shall be rescheduled. You shall be rescheduled. You shall be rescheduled in the name of Jesus. The third strategy of this spirit is the spirit of wastage. You will just be wasting the thing. Get the money because it's wasted. You gather something, it fizzles away. Friends then became, will become your enemies. All kinds of terrible things will begin to happen. Everything you just be is done it, but it's just wasted. Wasted. It's a tragedy when the enemy is sending the wasters against you. The first strategy is the spirit of stealing. The enemy can steal what is meant for you. You are working, you are gathering it, but it's been stolen. That's why the Bible says the, the devil comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The fifth strategy is diversion. Diversion. To aimless things. Empty things. Life without purpose. Life that has not been discovered. They know why they are born, but are still trying to figure out what to do with their lives. The enemy is diverting people. There is complete lack of direction. Confusion and unclear definition. A life of groping in the dark. A life of aiming for nothing. And when you aim for nothing, you catch nothing. A lot of people have been diverted from their project of blessings and they've abandoned their project of prosperity. This is a very serious problem. The sixth strategy of this spirit, the sixth terrible strategy, is to introduce a cage, a spiritual cage. So the person is now completely limited. Go forward and backward. Can't go beyond a particular realm. 
The person can move just two feet forward, two feet backward. That's all the enemy allows the person to move. A cage is introduced. The person is feeling caged, feeling limited. You know you can explode. You are, you are supposed to explode. Something is igniting the fire inside of you, but you find that you can't go beyond a particular level. The correct thing you need to move has been taken away because you are inside a cage. It's a strategy of the spirit of profitless hard work. The next strategy of the spirit is to introduce the spirit of slavery. You just slave and slave and slave and slave away all your life. The spirit of slavery will be upon the person. And such people will be having strange dreams of working for this, working for that, bearing errands for people you will normally not bear errands for. Anywhere you go, you find that you are below the ladder. And they are busy tossing your life here and there. This is a very serious matter. Very, very serious matter that causes profitless hard work. The last one is the enemy introduces a fragmented life. The person will not be able to gather his life or her life together. To be able to make something out of it. This is why we are gathered here this morning. How do we overcome this terribly bad spirit? The first thing you need to do is to make God your friend. If you are not born again, you need to surrender your life to Jesus and get born again. If not, you may walk all your life and at the end of the day, you find that there is nothing you have. Everything you've worked for is gone. I can go on giving you example and example and example of people who are falling victims of this terrible power. Ah, you say, I'm, I'm still young. I have plenty of time. Ah, you don't have time. Even at the age of uh, five, six, seven, ten, nine, those kind of spirits may already be working on a child. And at the age of 20, 21, if you've not dealt with it, you're probably going to live with it unless you deal with it. This is a very, very serious matter. Make God your friend. Number two, that you must repent from every known sin. You must repent from it. Don't joke with sin at all. Number three, that you must know your destiny. Know why God created you and asked you to come to this planet. Find out from the Lord what you are supposed to be doing here. So that you don't spend too long part of your life doing the wrong thing. The question of what, of what is your destiny is a question you have to answer very, very early. If you don't, you may spend the, life of your, the rest of your life doing what does not favor your destiny. Then the next thing you should do is to identify whether this spirit is working in your life. And from what I've described now in the past, you can understand whether it's working on you or not. As far as you find that before you achieve any measure of success, you struggle and struggle and sweat and sweat and sweat, the spirit is already at work. As far as you can look at your contemporaries, you find that they are doing a lot better than yourself, then that spirit is at work. As far as you can sit down to think and you find that you've worked all the years but you can't show anything for it. It is at work. You've had a prosperous business, now it's just going down. The spirit is at work. Or the business has even closed down completely. This demon is at work. You should now begin to recover what you have lost. Let us see the scripture we are going to hang upon this morning. I want you to open your Bible to the book of Isaiah. Chapter 65. And all of us will read it with a loud voice from verse 21 to 23. It's important that you open to this passage, beloved. It's also important that you personalize it. After that personalization of this matter, we now go into our prayers. This is a very serious matter, and it's not a matter to toy or joke with. If this spirit is still in an egg stage, you can kill it easily. But once it has grown wings, you need to work harder. Isaiah 65 from verse 21. Are we there? Are we ready? Let us go. Now that you've read it, 
Now you are going to read it again like this. And I shall build houses and inhabit them. I shall plant vineyards and eat of them. I shall not build around that habit. I shall not plant around that eat. But the days of the tree are my days. And I shall enjoy the works of my hand. I shall not labor in vain. I shall not bring forth for trouble. For I am the seed of the blessed of the Lord. And my offspring with me. Now read from 21 and make it personal to yourself like that. Amen. Let's close our eyes for the next few minutes. I want you to pray this prayer from your heart. There is no point in coming to a meeting like this and you go home with nothing. Does it make sense? For God to open the windows of heaven and is pouring out and you can't get your hands on them. It doesn't make sense for you to depart from this service today and the spirit of profitless hard work is still working against your life. The first prayer I want you to pray. I want you to pray like a mad prophet. Say, power of slavery. I bind you. Can you shout this loud and clear? I want you to put your emphasis on the word bind. Say it again. Jesus, open your mouth and begin to bind it. Bind the power of slavery. The spirit that wants you to work for nothing. Aha, aha. Jesus name we pray I wish you could see the breakthrough that prayer that prayer has released the second one will release greater breakthroughs every curse of hard labor pray in the name of Jesus Marapo sekate la kayama. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. This is not a day to negotiate. Not a day to negotiate at all. Baka sopari katia. Rimo no kaponde ke sente ya boshanda. Mana kapola bosotonde ke ya boshente raba. Ore aboko tenda kaya boshente raba. In Jesus' name we pray. There is an Ishekiri person here. They are pounding you in the mortar now. They are about to pound you to death. Even as we are praying there, a tall, strong man was saying, you are wasting your time. But as this was going on, an angel of God grabbed this strong man. Put this strong man in the mortar. And was pounding the strong man instead. Let me congratulate that person. But there is still another breakthrough you need. If you will pray this next prayer to you. With boiling anger. Everybody you will shout this loud and clear to Power of the emptiers. Can you shout this loud and clear? Hey, I wish you can know what is happening. Can you shout this again loud and clear? Lose your hold in the name of Jesus. 
Lose your hold. Yes, lose your hold. Aha, aha. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. There are 20 persons here. What is causing your profitless hard work? Are those incisions on your hand? They put it there when you were very small. Right there where you are now. Something is happening at the spot where those incisions are. The blood of Jesus is washing away. What the enemy has attached to these incisions. Let me wait for this to be completed. The spot of the incisions boiling like boiling water. Yes, these people have been delivered completely. That's right. Sisters, shout this after me. Belly of the serpent. Swallowing my prophet. Can I hear the sister shouting that now? Is that the loudest the sisters can call it? Brothers, shout it louder than the sisters. Then with all the aggression you can gather, you will say, Bust open! Aha. Can I hear you say that? Uh-huh. The power which you are saying your boss is still very small. Can I hear you shouting it again? Yes. Try improve on that one. Improve on that one. Say it again. Uh huh. In the name of Jesus, bust open the belly. Yes. So that it will be impossible to swallow your profit. Masika pola kaya bo shende rabo konta. Reabo la kaso ponde kaya bo shenta. Makapola kaya bo shenta. Ribo so ponde kete ya bo shenta rabo. Barika sati ala katanda. Bust open, 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 bust open. In the name of Jesus. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. If you run your own company, you have your own business, or you are working for government, or you are working for a company, if you pray this particular prayer, and your voice goes away, and you get a breakthrough, you have made a good bargain this morning. Every power that wants me to labor in vain, can you shout this loud and clear? Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yes. I shall not labor in vain. In the name of Jesus. Posakatonda kapinda yaboshanda. Ribosoponde ke yaboshente raba. Aha, aha, aha. Jesus. Let your power begin to move in this place. Let your power begin to move. Thou power of God, move, 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 move. Yes. Something is happening. Something is happening. Aha, 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 aha. Maseta kaya boshende rabosento. Yes. Ah, 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 ah. 
Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Let me congratulate all those who pray that prayer. <laughs> Glory be to the name of the Lord. Yes. Yes. You shall see the wonders of the Lord this week. Now this next prayer. I want us to pray because I saw a lot of people being pushed down by evil dark hands. Every power pushing me down. Can you say that with only anger? You are a joker. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Aha, 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 aha. Jesus. Let your power to deliver. Begin to move in the mist. 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 Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my stolen labor. Look at me. Can you say that loud and clear? Make it louder than that. In the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. You must be located. Jesus name we pray power of profitless hard work in the name of Jesus deal with that power Enough is enough. Yes, in Jesus' name we pray. Now listen, very, very carefully. There are three things that I am saying now. Let me share it with you before you pray this next prayer. There are thousands of people here who are supposed to be multi-millionaires. If not for the power of household wickedness that has pushed their heads down. The Bible says, these are the horns that scattered Judah. So that Judah could not raise his head. We need to pray against those horns. Number two, there are people here. What actually should make them prosper has been stolen away from their lives. Those things need to come back this morning. Number three, there are some here. Anytime they want to do what to make them prosper, the enemy frustrates them out of the place. And pushes them to the wrong place. It is for that purpose I want you to pray this prayer with boiling anger. Please don't negotiate this prayer. Horns of darkness scattering my labor. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. 
Command your hands to catch fire. The hands must catch fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Pick a song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings for what he has done in your life here today. How great is a God. How great is his name. Amen. Turn to somebody now and you pray for that person from your heart and the person who will pray for you from his or her heart. Say, every power assigned to frustrate you in the name of Jesus pray for your friend like that if the power is assigned to frustrate let the power be disgraced in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray turn to another friend turn to another friend where your enemies say you will not reach get there by fire in the name of Jesus proclaim the blessings upon your friend Proclaim the blessings upon your friend. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Turn to a third friend. Say, my friend. Receive the power of favor. This is a very serious prayer. That one. Open your mouth and pray for your friend. In the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Now you lay your right hand on your own head. Say every arrow fired against my brain backfire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Masikataya Boshende Rabokoraba. In Jesus' name we pray. Say thank you, Jesus. Begin to thank the Lord for what He has done for you today. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let us share the grace in fellowship.